Good day! Welcome back to our class in Biochemistry Laboratory. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the next activity on the glycogen. We know that glycogen is one of the polysaccharides. This is actually a carbohydrate which are found in the muscles of the animals or you can find this also in the shellfish. For the activity today, the source of the glycogen that we are going to extract is the shellfish. So I have here the meat of the shellfish. Then we are going to mince or grind this shellfish, the meat of the shellfish, such that it becomes finer or fine. I am adding a little amount of the sand into this meat of the shellfish to help me grind it fine. Then we are going to transfer this ground meat of the shellfish into the evaporating dish and we're going to add it with 40 ml of water. So I have already added 40 ml of the water into the ground seashell meat or the shellfish meat. And we're going to boil this for 20 minutes. So we have already boiled the meat of the seashells with water for 20 minutes. Then the next step is we are going to filter this. Then the next step in the preparation of this glycogen solution is to wash this residue left on the filter paper twice with 10 ml of water.
Okay, so we have already collected the filtrate from the boiled meat of the seashells. The next step is we're going to boil this again to concentrate it to have its volume. So we will just transfer it to this beaker. And since this is about 25 ml, we're going to concentrate the volume to half its volume, so about 12 ml after boiling it. Since the volume of the glycogen extract that we have obtained a while ago is already half its volume after it has been boiled for some minutes, then we are going to add this with a little of the acetic acid. Then we are going to filter this again. This is already the glycogen solution that we have extracted from the seashells meat. Take note of the color of the solution. Then we will subject this glycogen solution to a chemical reaction test. For the first reaction, we are going to react 5 ml of the glycogen solution with the iodine solution. So we will get 5 ml from this glycogen solution. So to this 5 ml of the glycogen solution, we are going to add 3 drops of the sodium chloride before we add it with the iodine solution. Then, to this mixture now of the glycogen and the sodium chloride solution, we're going to add it with iodine solution.
And I want you to take note what happens to the color. Try to compare this result with that of the starch that we have in the experiment on carbohydrates. Remember, starch is also a polysaccharide, while the glycogen is also a polysaccharide. But take note of the difference in their reactions in terms of the color produced. Then the next reaction that we're going to exhibit with the glycogen is the precipitation of glycogen with the ethyl alcohol. So we are going to use 3 ml of the glycogen solution. And we're going to add this with ethyl alcohol. Notice the formation of the white precipitate. And with the precipitate that we have produced here, we are going to add this with Felling's reagent. So, we are going to decant a little bit of the supernatant leaving behind the precipitate. And we will place this into the water bath. And let's observe it later. Then for the next reaction is we're going to use 5 ml of the glycogen solution. And we're going to hydrolyze this first before we're going to add it with Felling's reagent or submit it to Felling's test. So when we're going to hydrolyze this, we're going to add it with drops of hydrochloric acid. Then we will boil this for some minutes, like 10 minutes. Then after boiling for 10 minutes, we're going to cool this down and add it with sodium hydroxide. So this has been cooled, then we are going to add this with sodium hydroxide. The purpose of adding the sodium hydroxide is to neutralize the solution. Then we add it with the Felling's reagent so that this will be submitted to Felling's test.
Now, I would like you to observe what happens after boiling it for 15 minutes. So this is the hydrolyzed glycogen. So when we say hydrolyzed glycogen, the glycogen has undergone hydrolysis by adding the hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. So the glycogen now is decomposed into its glucose units. We know that the glycogen is made up of a series of glucose units. And glucose, when submitted to a felling test will give us a positive color which is from light yellow to yellow to orange and finally to red so in this case we have a deep yellow color so it's positive that the seashell meat contains glycogen and if we're going to compare this hydrolyzed glycogen with the unhydrolyzed glycogen a while ago so that means they have different results because this is unhydrolyzed meaning it is not yet decomposed into its glucose unit so it is difficult for the glycogen to be reacted with the fillings however the other one is already hydrolyzed so this is already composed now of the glucose units so it's easy for the carbohydrate glucose to exhibit the Felling's positive test that would be all for today what I would like you to do is you're going to write your observations on this activity on glycogen and answer all the questions given in the lab guide it is also expected that you are going to write a formal report about this experiment on glycogen. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.